I'm surprised that a pretty girl like you would be interested in learning black magic. Well, I'm just curious. I'm thinking that maybe one day I can write a book about it and tell it to the world. Before I came here, I did some research in Africa on voodoo. It's a subject which has always fascinated me. I hope you'll be able to help me in my research here, Hendra. <laughs> yeah. I know a little about the Liak magic. People say it's the most primitive, but also the most dangerous. A Liak master can change his form at will into anything he wishes, like, say, an animal, or a tree, or even another person. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's really unbelievable. They say one can kill by using the Liak magic. But the thing about it is no murder can be proved if one uses this method. agree to help me with this? Hendra. Oh, come on. I need your help. You've got to help me. All right. I'll try my best to help you. But you know I can't promise you anything. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you, Hendra. And you? Where are you going? Well, I'm going home too. And tomorrow we'll get an early start, okay?
They're right. It doesn't have any smell at all. So you've heard the story too? Yes, I heard it from your friend Sir Yanni in Jogja. But that was the extent of his information. He couldn't tell me who started it. Well, there's still an awful lot of mystery in Bali, you know. I also find it hard to believe sometimes. And that's why, Hendra, I'm so interested in this Liak magic. I want to find out all the secrets of this unusual branch of black magic. And the only possible way to do that would be to learn it myself. The same way I learned voodoo, the black magic of Africa. It's going to be a fascinating book when it's finished. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Kathy, voodoo or any other black magic is nothing compared to this Liak magic. According to what I've heard, the Liak is the most powerful of all magic. Hendra, but tell me, do you believe in the Liak or is it just nonsense? I believe in the supernatural and also black magic. But I also think that, in a way, its reputation is over-dramatized a bit. Then I see you do believe in the Liak, don't you? I have to believe in it, Kathy. We need a clear mind to learn it, right? <laughs> but I'm afraid my mind can't be clear when I'm next to a beautiful girl. <laughs> Mahendra, perhaps you and I are the only two people who've ever dared to kiss besides all these old skeletons and skulls. <laughs> Because of you. Let's go, pretty. Or the ghosts will get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some big news for you. Oh, yeah? What's the big news? You know the friend I told you about? He's just told me that he managed to find a Liak master who would talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hendra. <laughs> so tell me then, when are we going to get the chance to see him? No hurry. Just be patient. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll try to be patient. Well, Kathy, this is the place that we agreed upon. Oh, but it's so quiet, it's like a graveyard. Yeah, but Kathy, remember we're now confronting forces which are very far beyond our everyday experiences. We can expect anything to happen now. Master is coming. <laughs> yeah, now we just gotta wait for him to appear. <laughs> hey, I spotted something, huh? I think. So where is it then? See there? You're right, I see it. That heap of earth seems to be shivering. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? But that's not a heap of earth, Hendra. Is that it, do you think? Could be. It's strange. Look at it. Why do you think it's turning round and around like that? Maybe it wants to make sure that its presence has not been seen by anybody else apart from us two. What's the next step now? What should we do, Hendra? <laughs> I think I can recognize that laugh. That terrible laughter is the sign of the most horrible clan of them all. What's that? Yeah. The Liak laughter is their special trademark. An appearance is always preceded by the laughter. What's most dangerous about them is that they can kill. Master certainly knows that we are here now, Kathy. Let's go over. Who are you then? 
My name's Mahendra. I arranged yesterday to come here and see you. Hmm. But who is that young girl with you and what is her business? Well, in fact, she is the one who wanted to meet you. Huh. Huh. I see. Then why should you come along as well? Uh, I'm just escorting her. She's a foreigner here. Ah, the girl is very lovely. What is her name? And where does she come from? Catherine Keene from the USA. And where is that? Very far away. <laughs> Tell me why you wanted to meet me. Because I'm interested in learning the most powerful magic that exists today. <laughs> well now, I know the world's most powerful black magic. Tomorrow it will be you, and not someone posing as you. We don't know you. Huh? You want to see my face? <laughs> All right then. But you better look at it carefully. You'll never forget. This face. <laughs> this is my face that you see tonight, young man. But you must remember one thing. My face will change every time I make an appearance. No one will recognize me, as my face is never the same. It's different each time. Oh, that's right. I have heard that in Western custom, when people say goodbye, they shake each other's hands like this. That's right. We will part now. I've got to leave, so goodbye. Let us shake hands, Catherine. smell here. To see me, do you understand? I do. Mm. 
Howard, you brought those things I asked you to bring? Yes. All right, listen carefully to me. Put the jewels on the palm of the girl's hand. Now, tell her to stretch her hand out, and I will take them from her hand. You can be trusted. But now I need blood. I'm very thirsty, so I've walked a long way. First lesson. Mm, good, good. Now I need you to take off your skirt. What are you gonna do? Don't you argue with me. She must take off her skirt. Because I need to write a few mantras of Liak on her skin. Isn't there another way? This girl doesn't want to be a Liak forever. I know that. I'm not going to hurt her. This is only to pass on some magic power to her. She'll only have a few scratches on the outer layer of the skin. Once the outer skin is peeled off, the magic will disappear. Just tell her to do as I say! Hmm? I need to write the magic spell in a secret place. And no one can see it, otherwise it's no good. Understand? Tapi is an undergarment, and it's worn with all of our local traditional dresses. Mm-hmm. And young man, you do not need to come with her tomorrow. She must come alone. I'm not disturbing anything, am I? So why can't I come tomorrow? <laughs> you are too curious, young man. You ask about things that you shouldn't know about. Mm. I suspect you. My instinct tells me that you are a dangerous and unreliable person. So do what I say! Go now! Here. What is it, Hendra? Just open it, and then you'll find out. Mahendra, really, you're much too kind. You're always so generous, aren't you? You remember even the little things. What can I say except to thank you, Hendra? It's kind of you. I appreciate it. Don't need to thank me, Kathy. It was really nothing at all. Hey, you know, I promised to help you. 
As much as I could, and I'm just trying to keep my word. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Here are your drinks. Oh, here. Oh, put it down there. Is that all, sir? Yes, thanks. Hey, Kathy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now remember, before you wear the batik, don't forget the tapis. You must wear it as your undergarment. So try the tapis before you go. Mm -hmm. All right, don't worry. Let's go inside. <laughs> drawing is vague, a lot of jumbled pictures. I suppose it's like this, so that no one can understand it. Well, it is interesting, but I'm afraid it's all complete mumbo-jumbo to me. Maybe we'll know after we see the Queen tonight. <laughs> there must be a meaning to all of it. If we could understand it, it'd be better. Don't forget tonight you'll be alone. She said I can't come with you. Yeah, but there is another way to do it. What do you mean? Well, as you know, last night the Queen of the Liak drew a spell on my thigh. Yes, and? I was just wondering if maybe you could read it. Uh, but... Hendra, come on. I'm sure you want to know its secret too, don't you? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out right now. You can come closer, so you can read it clearly. Hurry up, Hendra, before anyone comes here. Can you understand it, Hendra? Well, tell me, what do you think it is, then? Is it different to the one on the amulet? Well, most of it is different. I haven't seen anything like this before, but a small part of it is quite similar. Uh, Kathy, mm -hmm? I think I can recognize this. Oh, yeah? Uh, but the sound... Mm -mm. Lee... Lee... Ak... Uh, Ak... Liak. Uh, oh, that's a start. Then you're on the right track. Now, what else can you see, Hendra? The picture she drew on the front of your thigh. It must be a sign. That means you're now officially accepted as a new student of the Liak. <laughs> Take a closer look. Tell me what else you can figure out from it. Ah, uh, well, I think that's about it. I can't understand the rest of it. And this is where it says, uh, uh, Oh, that's enough. Okay. I guess I better get ready to go out soon.
was really frightening. Can you guess what we did last night? Um, tell me. Well, Hendra, you will never believe what happened. Mm -hmm. I will soon be a master of the Liak. This is really hard to believe. You? You a master of the Liak? That's right. So does that mean you can change into anything you want to? Of course. Last night at midnight, everything was exactly as we had arranged it to be. I was there with the Liak Queen, and then suddenly... the story, Uncle. So tell me, is it true that another spell exists that is strong enough to fight this Liak spell? Of course there is. If there wasn't, then the world would have been taken over by the Liak and everybody would be under their evil power. And so how do we recite the spell then? Hmm. Actually, it is quite easy. The first thing that one should do is to recite the holy words Tree Sandi. saying earlier. Once you have learned to say the tree sandi, the thing you must do after that is to recite the other mantras. I think you're old enough to accept the mantras, but remember one thing, Hendra. You mustn't fool around with these mantras, and you mustn't tell anybody about them. Where did you get all these mantras, Uncle? I got them from our forebear. He was also my uncle. As far as I know, he stole them from the house of a great Liak master. Unfortunately, he was discovered. And the Liak master finally managed to track him down. A duel ensued. My uncle was not familiar with the mantras then. And so he was unable to use them to fight against the Liak Master. So, he was very lucky indeed to survive. Still, my uncle was seriously injured. While he was recuperating, he managed to learn the techniques and pass them on to me. So has the mantra ever been used to fight against the Liak? Yeah, many times and with good results.
Hendra. This little dagger you see here is great power. It's yours now. Take it. It'll increase your power. Go on, take it. So it means that you can communicate using telepathy. And you don't have to say anything to each other? Yeah. And also you're able to think like another form of life? Is that right? Yeah. And I only realize it now that I can do it. That ball of fire that you told me you had destroyed could be yourself. The fire goes out means someone has died. That is, a life's been destroyed. It means a human being has died somewhere. Are you saying that I've killed another human being? That's right. <gasps> Hendra, this is turning into the most horrible nightmare. <laughs> you mustn't worry, Kathy. But Hendra, this will mean that I'm now a murderer. Yeah, but it wasn't your doing. Uh, What's up? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? And, don't know. My stomach's aching, and my heart feels like it's going to burst. Could be from last night. Go and lie down. I'll call a doctor for you, okay? No, don't don't call a doctor. You don't look very well, Kathy. And we don't know. You may get worse and it could be dangerous. Let me call a doctor. I might get a little worse, but it won't be dangerous. No good leaving it. You must treat it before it gets worse. Let me call a doctor. Hendra, only the Liak would be able to cure this. But then, I can't go to her now. The sun is real high, it's noontime, so that's impossible. I must wait until later. I'll be all right. She told me to go back again to the graveyard tonight. First she's going to cure my illness, and after that she'll teach me the remaining lessons, okay? Okay, up to you. Now, you have a rest. I've got to go into town this afternoon. There's some business there I really have to attend to. Hendra, by tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll be the old Kathy again. I'll be the same old girl that you used to know. I hope tonight that can happen. Catherine Keene should always be Catherine Keene. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're the best thing that ever happened to me. If I was in your condition, I don't think I could laugh. <laughs> it's all because of you, Hendra.
And now, it's time for you to pay. I'm your mistress, you have to obey my orders at all times. And now, I will have to borrow your head for a short time. And then I will attain total power. It's been a long time. Yeah, I'm worried. Hey, it's all right. The baby will be here soon. There they are. There. You know, she seems to be having a lot of trouble this time. so far ought to have been enough. If you still wish to carry on, I will certainly continue to accept you as my disciple. If you would like to stop, hmm, perhaps later. I have now learned enough. Thank you for everything you've taught me and for all the lessons. I do appreciate it. Mm.
What's the matter with you? I really don't know. All I can recall is that I saw the Liak Queen, and we laughed a lot together, and then we went to this strange place where I saw plenty of delicious-looking delicacies, and I ate a lot of the things that were on the table. Perhaps it was the food last night that has made you so sick now. <laughs> defeated her enemies. <laughs> as you see, you've got a separate entrance to your room. That way you can come and go as you like. Thanks a lot, Hendra. I like this place. It's really very peaceful here. It's very good, too. It'll let me concentrate on my book without any interruptions. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to finish it soon. <laughs> I want you to know, and so far, Mahendra has never been wrong in his selections. Mahendra! <laughs> 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 Kathy! I do care a lot about you, Hendra. I know you do. I think perhaps I shouldn't allow you to go back to the USA. Excuse me. My boss told me to deliver this receipt. Oh, yeah? If there's anything you need, you can just call us. We'll be very glad to help you. Thanks a lot. It's very kind of you. I'll be so lonely. I had no idea you had to sail so soon, really. You work hard for your money, don't you? Uh, tell me, how long is it going to be? Only for two days. Mm. I'll surely miss you, Hendra. I'll be missing you too, Kathy. 
Although we only met a short time ago, I feel as if I've known you for years. <laughs> you know that without you here, I'll be sad and depressed. been a dream. Perhaps I was just thinking too much about my book. But my mouth and the blood. I guess I bit my lip. According to the information we've got, it seems that this thing was a flying head. But the funny thing was, this flying head had light-colored hair. The Liak so far only seems interested in newborn babies for their blood, according to relatives of the dead. This is very serious. We must try to find a solution to stop this demon right now. Yeah. I'm afraid this world has become a very evil place these days. Many have forgotten the Almighty God and His teachings to us. There are a lot of men who are greedy. Many who are after power to control and dominate others. Like magic is a poison in our society, we have got to try to exercise it. We have got to try to kill it and pull out the roots. In order to get rid of it, we'll have to pray for help from the Almighty. The great Lord Widiwasa has also given us powers to protect our people from all evil sickness. And naturally, it's up to us to make use of this gift. 
I'm all for what Much has said. The goal of this meeting today is to work out a way to put an end to all of this. After years of peace and quiet comes a disaster. The Liak magician needs to consume three lives to complete her power. <laughs> Up to now, she's already taken two lives. That means she'll need to find one more, and then her power will be complete. Now, I'd like to handle this thing quickly. I will need to go and meditate, and pray to seek the help of Almighty God. Please excuse me. so surprised. I am your teacher. Huh? I I've already had the lessons. I've finished now. Pretty, you have had all of your lessons. But you still have not paid me. Well, how much do you want then? I'm not interested in money, my lovely. I don't want money. I want hot fresh blood and you can go out and get it for me. All right, tomorrow. I'll go and get it. I can't wait any longer. I want you to get it right now. It's so late. Where can I find it at this hour? But that is easy. I just need to borrow your head for a moment. You can't. I used your head twice before and you always obeyed me. Now you must go again. One last time. And after you have done it, I will release you. You can leave then. As you see, after this one last time, then my power will be complete. My body will live forever! <laughs> I'm gonna stay young forever! <laughs> Don't! Don't!
Sandra, what the hell are you doing here then? Go and have a look and I'll explain everything. It's all clear. I think I know everything. I must admit, I never would have thought that this thing would go as far as this. Yeah, but don't worry. Maybe Catherine's being used by some evil supernatural forces now. Maybe. Uncle, if you help me, perhaps I can get Catherine back on the right track again. Do you think so? It's much too late now, Hendra. I'm afraid no one can separate her now from her evil teacher. You mean that it's all over then? Uncle, but I do love her very much. But many innocent lives have been lost. And you know very well yourself it's all because of people practicing black magic. I'm sorry to tell you we can't afford to have any more deaths. But please, Uncle. Many people have lost their lives because of this black magician. And I'm gonna stop it no matter what it's... Now please, please let me help her. No, Mahendra. You can't go or you'll destroy everything. That girl isn't the same anymore. She has now become Satan's prisoner. I'd like you to help me pray on this grave for three nights continuously. Do you think you can do that? For what reason? Because Kathy's body's going to rise again as her head's no longer attached to her body. And then if that happens, I'm afraid that all of us are going to be placed in the gravest danger. The body has to be buried according to the Balinese tradition. Catherine's no longer the girl you know. She's Satan's prisoner. She's Satan's executioner. Remember, she'll kill anyone in her way. We've got to try and stop the body joining the head. If she succeeds in reuniting her body with her head, we'll never control her. I guess it's all my fault that Catherine has become like this now. It's my fault. Because I started it. It's true when they say that failure always gives us the courage to face reality. You must move on. You have your future ahead of you. You mustn't let this ruin your life. You're right. Uncle, I should have listened to what you said to me before. Yeah. You go now and I'll join you tonight. Hendra, I love you a lot. Please promise me. Hendra, you've really got to help me this time. I'm in trouble. You've got to get my body out of the grave. You've got to help me for our sake. I love you.
Tell me, what's the meaning of that dream, Uncle? I think that it signifies her return. So you see, the next three days is very important. We got to prevent her head from joining her body. Otherwise, she'll become invincible. Then there'll be nothing we can do about it. But why should she appear to me in a dream? The Liak Queen has sent Catherine back to try to influence you, Hendra. If you were weak, well then, she'd have succeeded. And you'd have gone to the grave and helped them. We still don't know if he'll win, is that right? Mm. I'm very sleepy. Shall we take turns to watch the grave? You two go take a nap. We'll watch first. Remember the dagger I gave you. Do you have it with you, Hendra? Yeah, I have. I brought it with me tonight. Hmm, that's good. Perhaps we'll need to use it later. You're the one who's behind all this. I know you. Aren't you satisfied with all these deaths? <laughs> I'm glad you still remember me. It's true, you have defeated me once before. But that was a long time ago. I warn you, don't try anything stupid. <laughs> I don't care what it'll cost. I'll destroy you and your evil kind. You want to destroy me? <laughs> Just you go ahead and try. <clears throat> Me then. 
Why did you do it? It's because I still love you, Hendra. Although you left me for another woman, Hendra. I still love you very much. Maya? Maya, I'm sorry. So you again. I've come here to lend a hand to my nephew. Though I was late for my brother. One thing's for sure, his death won't be for nothing. So you want to avenge him? Hmm? Hmm. Now it won't be so easy, Oka. Hmm? Show me what you can do. Hmm. All right, so let's start. strong once I regain my lost energy. I tell you, I will surely get you sooner or later. You can just mark what I say. Thank <laughs> you. 
then I must fight you, Oka. We shall soon see who is going to die. Today it's going to be your head or mine. Huh! <laughs> 